So, hi, my name is Boris Tizek, and I'm a PhD student at Florida Atlantic University, and I do sea turtle research. So welcome to Florida Atlantic University Research Lab at Gumbo Limbo Nature Center. Uh, let me give you a tour inside. So we have a pretty unique opportunity here at Florida Atlantic University because we get to raise the three main species of turtles that nest here in South Florida, which are the loggerhead turtle, the green turtle, and the leatherback turtle. Um, and what's even really cool is that we're the only lab in the world that can keep leatherbacks in captivity. Leatherbacks are critically endangered and you can't keep them in a tank anywhere else because they're an open water species. They're constantly swimming and as soon as you put them in a small tank, they start to get sick. But um, we have been able to raise them till they are four to five months old. So that's pretty neat. So the main reason why we bring turtles in the lab is we, because we can't identify the sex of a sea turtle just by looking at it until it maybe is about 25 years old. So what we do is we collect the turtles as soon as they hatch from the beaches here in South Florida and then we bring them over here in the lab for about three months till they're old enough that we can do a little surgery to figure out if they're boys or girls. So this guy is about two months old and again there's no way that you can identify the sex of the turtle just by looking at it. Uh, so the way that we identify turtles in the lab is we use nail polish. Depending on where we mark the turtle, it's how we know who's who. So for example, this guy, he has the first scoot in the middle painted, so we know he came from Boca. And then we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we know it came from nest number 900. And then depending on where in the scoot here on the side, this, this guy has the first scoot painted, so we know it's 901. And so we put them in the basket 901. The reason why we have to keep the turtles in baskets is because they're not very social and they don't get along with each other. So if you let them free swim in a tank, they'll bite and form pecking orders. Sea turtles play an important role for the food chain. They're also beautiful animals that need to be preserved. The climate is affecting them in many different ways but we're focusing on how global warming is affecting sea turtle populations. The sea turtles have something called temperature-dependent sex determination, what that means is that the temperature of the sand while they're in the egg is what determines if they grow to be a male or a female. So while the warmer temperatures produce more females and the cooler temperatures produce more males, but it's been very, very hot in the past few years, so we've been getting over 95% females. That's kind of a concern because we need both males and females to keep a population going. In the upcoming years, we're expecting a kind of an imbalance of males and females. We expect more females to be born in the beaches here, at least in South Florida. So it's part of the research that we're doing now.